You're not interested in using Okeanos after patch? No, he's like 3 to 5 hits kind of bullshit. It's kind of mad. What the hell is Sonya going to do here? Like, Sonya can only kill this. Rest, I don't care. Um, do I care about any of this then? Could I just simply do this? Because the reset is somewhat annoying on you and you? I'm not sure how I'm going to deal with the Miles though, if he bans out this thing. Uh, let's remove the Miles. Remove that! Okay. Um, interesting. Let's, uh, let's see how that works out. Let's see how that works out. I guess the damage from the uh, fake Teor kind of thingy would be pretty good. But besides that, I'm not sure. Yeah, okay, that was expected. Okay, and Teor shows some magic. And Teor's, I believe. And Teor's, I said I believe. Okay, apparently I don't really believe in the tears. Um, if I kill this thing, like, what is going to kill me in any kind of shape or way? Not that much, right? Okay, okay. Okay, fair enough. That does do a shit ton of damage. Okay, if tears finally decides to join the battle. I kind of want to attack break this actually more, but I kind of want to do damage too. If he went for an S2, he would have instantly killed. Okay, I guess I would have liked some critters on that. Unfortunately, he gets the additional turn. And unfortunately, he gets the additional turn. <laughs> What's up, man? <laughs> yeah, I don't think you're gonna win this. Well, I actually had a match where an Oliver won against my Triple Revenge Verd. Like, how the fuck does an Oliver win against a Triple Revenge Verd? Like, what? Now, how is that a thing? <laughs> But before we get into the video, I want to talk about the sponsor for today's video, which is the Huawei App Gallery. And with the current campaign of the Huawei App Gallery, you can get up to 27% off on your purchases in Summoner's Wars. How do you get all of that? First of all, you have to download the Huawei App Gallery, first link in the description. From there, you have to do a few things to create an account, download the HMS score, set up the region. Region will be set to Germany. Once that is all done, you have the Huawei App Gallery. And from the Huawei App Gallery, currently, I still have the campaign opened. But to get here, it's very simply, we would have to look up the game the moment we search for the game, we find it right over there, and we can see all of their running campaigns at this moment. Also, definitely a recommended thing to do is join the Discord of the Huawei App Gallery, because at the Huawei App Gallery Discord, they keep you up to date on all of the kind of campaigns that are currently running. So from here, we can further check out that campaign. How do you get that 27% off? Well, first of all, we can see that we have uh, Huawei points. So on the weekends, we get one point for every one euro and Huawei points we can then use for later purchases to get like a cashback. Afterwards, for everything that we purchase, we get diamonds and these diamonds we can then trade in for a coupon code that we can later use for a big discount. And those are definitely the discounts that we want. And as mentioned before, at the bottom, we also have their Discord link. Within their Discord, you can ask all of those questions and keep up to date with all of those amazing campaigns. So we checked out the campaign, it's looking good. From here, now we also have to install Summoner's War. Currently, it's already installed, so I can just open it from here. We'll go to the instance of the Huawei App Gallery for Summoner's War. And the moment that you uh, go to any purchases right now, it will use the system of the Huawei App Gallery to do all of your purchases. So once we're in game, let's say we would like to purchase this pack. So it's simply as clicking on it as always. Then from here, we can already see that I had a coupon of still 10 euros off. I can select my payment method, for example, PayPal or any of the other methods. I can also use the Huawei points that I had from previous purchases right now. And from there, it's just very simply paying. Afterwards, you also have the option to claim your cashback, which is the Huawei points which is only in the weekends. And afterwards, you can go back to the campaign page to check how many diamonds you have and if you have enough to actually purchase one of those coupons 
for a bigger discount for your next purchase as well. And as a saying we have in Dutch, don't be a thief in your own wallet, get those discounts and this is the way how to get those discounts. And say Fire Monkey damage? Yes, the Fire Monk is kind of overdone on damage. And we have this, uh, this was actually one of my first artifacts because you can see that the, this was my first quad artifact, that is for sure. Because you can still see the line in there that's already removed like a long time back. 11, removing them Olivers. It doesn't look like much because his scaling of attack is not that high because of low attack, but he has a decent amount of stats. We got a more in there. How should I prioritize my swift units if I don't have a lot of rune depth? Um, you just pick one swift unit and you work with that, probably one or two. I would say two. Oh, a lot of Sonyas. A lot of Sonyas. Hmm, let me go for some more birds. Actually, this bird is getting a lot of play in this kind of comp as well. This looks kind of symmetrical, right? But then the speed had to be 700. Well, no, no, that's not how things work in this game. Yeah, bird is pretty nice. He's actually kind of lacking a good slot 4, like he's 171 speed with 15 uh, speed in this one. Cigar, Cigar is not great into me at all. Camillax. Um, he could definitely ban out the Leo. I could definitely say that I put in a Douglas once again, but can the doggy kind of deal with this though? That is somewhat of the issue scenarios right here. If I had, do I still have Carbine Root? Ooh, yeah, you're gonna get it. You're so gonna get it. Well, would he ban that? I guess he would hella ban this, right? I would kind of have to do this. He's so going to ban this though. Can I then deal with that being banned? Can I deal with the other units? With Camilla mainly. Camilla is going to be the issue scenario. Huh. Yeah, since I know 100% that this is banned. No, I'm still going to do this. He bans the Leo. Ooh, we're gonna see a Carbine match. I haven't used that unit in ages. We're so going to see a Carbine match, boys. It's been so long since I used Carbine. I used Carbine a lot in the more Joe Gun meta. Uh, my Sienna's not really ruined. I have it ruined on the Swift leftover set. Well, let's see what Carbine can do. Okay, increases. Doesn't land most of the increases. It's actually pretty good. Glancing across the board, that's very strong for me as a starter. Because that's going to give Carbine three hitters. And three hitters, I think I'm gonna... Uh, what do I want to kill first? I think I'm just gonna go for you. Oh, doesn't land it. Too bad. Like, if he had landed the glancing on this, I would have fucked him up pretty badly as well. Okay, stunner back at Yo. Oh, wow, he's landing everything while glancing. Jesus. Stop doing that. I don't like it. Stop it. I do not like it. Maybe I should have actually killed something else first. Yeah, maybe I should have went for that one first. You can't really go for S2. Still would be in. Do I lap? No! Okay, I guess. That's slow though. The slow is not really helping me. Can I get him into state? Yeah, I can get him into state. That's perfect. If I can get rid of this cigar, I think I'm in kind of in an okay position. You still have your other skills, but you're glancing. You're mo most likely not really going to use it. I think I'm gonna hit this right now. Since you are glanced right now on this unit as well, I might as well just get rid of this in the first place. You are glanced, so you better glance this asshole. That's what I played him for. Okay, safe place. Ooh, those hay gang stuns though. 
Like the Hagen stuns are fucking a lot more. I don't even know what Carbine does. Uh, Carbine does this. He got glanced, he gets full attack bar. And he gets an uh, uh, attack bar. And then he shoots 38k at your fucking unit. <laughs> That's what Carbine does. Like there's absolutely no way that a Carbine would lose this 1v1 against the Camilla. There's absolutely no way. You can definitely give it a try, but... Oh, attack buff! I like those! <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man! That's Carbine, bitches! <laughs> That's Carbine! Famous last word, no, man! Carbine fucking nearly one-shot your Camilla! That's what Carbine did right there. That was an insane Carbine match. Love to see that unit back at it. Now, I haven't been streaming or doing too much content or any content at all for Chronicles these days, but I'm still playing. Oh, wait, this Ke is this Kelly and Bao? Yeah, this is probably Kelly and Bao. Uh-oh. Fuck, I should have banned the Maximilian. There's absolutely no way that I currently, in current state, have something ruined against this guy. Like, I can't... I, I have to speed contest this guy. What if it's Genny Hathor guy? This doesn't look like a Genny Hathor kind of guy, right? Wait, my Samath is not ruined. I would have liked the Samath is in this. I'll ruin that up in a second. I think I'm uh, super fucked, but uh, let's see uh, to what extent I'm super fucked. He could definitely hey gang me right now, but I kind of want him to. No, this is pretty much him. <laughs> this is pretty sure him. Hmm. Okay. Understandable pick, understandable pick. With that Nikki S finisher. Yikes! I hate this draft. But I do see an opener. An opener is slim though. This is a slim chance. I definitely do see an opener in here. What is the best solution? An opener is banning Maxi. But after banning Maxi, what route do we go? We actually go for this. Okay, removes that. Fair enough. Uh, resistance lead. Don't really give a shit about your resistance lead in honesty, but I do give a shit about how much damage you're gonna throw at my face. Yeah, that's the guy that deleted the uh, diligent. I outspeed his ass. Okay, interesting. Um, in case that you want to go for switchy thing on there, uh, never mind. Allow to go your switching thing. And decides not to go for it anyways. Ooh, do you know what the resist? However, uh, I can't really switch right now. That's the big issue. Can I stun? If I would have stunned there, I would have fucked him up so badly. Oh wait, I actually have another chance at that. Hmm, kind of want to reset you. Didn't work out. At least we got the cooldown increases. Pretty sure this would kill, right? Rocker at wrong moment. Hmm, would have to kill. He could go for S2, but I would say S2 is kind of in. Uh, if I protect right now... Yeah, I think I will. Oh, Stunner will be amazing. Well, he has resistance lead. He's Squish, though. He is definitely Squish. Well, this is going to full heal, uh, anyhow. Issue right now is... Please proc. Oh. Issue right now is, if I do this and I actually land it, he would cleanse anyways. Yeah. Maybe I should have done it. Should not have. You don't have skill 3 yet, please don't go into sleeping cycle. Amazing. Yeet. And a yeet. If we drop this over here right now, uh, if we don't, that's also an option, totally an option. Yeah, the Diana was actually... Uh, 
the 5 path play on this one. Diana pretty much did everything. Like, all of the others were just dead meat. But Diana was the one that was doing this whole match. Apparently someone has shitty internet. Or I have shitty internet. Or both. Gianna was a big shitter here, man. Gianna missed two bombs. Yep, GG's. We're risking it. I don't give a shite. Okay, that's some nice RNG right there, sir. <laughs> Wait, I critted one out of four? I knew I had other shit coming up, so it doesn't really matter. But Gianna missed three out of three bombs. That's how good Gianna is, guys. That is how good Gianna is. Gianna missed three out of three bombs, and Diana still wins. <laughs> That's how good Gianna is. Gianna did absolutely nothing. She was field filler right there. Diana was like the whole thing. But Diana is really one of those units I pretty much never draft. But what has one of the best of my runes. And that is just simply because those runes don't fit anywhere else. But yeah, that was... Uh, that was some uh, Diana showcase right there. And it has 31 in this, which definitely does help. But that was a solid draft and a half. Well, it could have. I have 75 accuracy on Gian S2, but even then, I would say that most likely he's not maxing out on resistance. Plus, it's still a 15% or like a 25% check, three times in a row missing. So. Why did those players not ban Maximilian though? I don't know. <laughs> like, it was just you ban the Maximilian, you win. I'll take Volantis over Gianna. I agree. Uh, we're playing against Jinjo. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just gonna ban like the Jinjo special. This is so much like Jinjo is the only player that plays with crack without a one cleave, and it works for him. It works very well for him. So we're definitely just going to like play without. <laughs> Ooh, Chandra, interesting. Yeah, he likes that Chandra kind of comps as well. Does he go Chandra Miles kind of stuff? It works well into the monk. But, okay, Cigar. Cigar is definitely good. I could... Bird plus Juno this. Because both of them pretty much count, hard counted these two, and this one doesn't do too much damage yet. Let's see what his uh, 4 and 5th is. If his 4 and 5th are not good Douglas counts, I could just slap in a Douglas once again. Or a Raccoon. Both of them would kind of work. Okay, that's definitely a Douglas counter. And that's also a Douglas counter. So it definitely does have the Douglas counters in there. Uh, I could do one of few things. I could add in... I could remove... No, I kind of want to remove you. It's the main thing. I could also Leo. If I Leo, Leo becomes a must ban. Right? Yeah, pretty sure Leo becomes a must ban. And now we're just gonna ban out this. Third best unit in the game. Kinda. Angela and Kern meta, pretty good. Yeah, Leo becomes the must ban. Like, there's no other way. So, therefore, this ban makes sense as well. Like, I was thinking about other drafts that could maybe work in the draft, but if I just have a clear, like, 100% fifth uh, pick ban, I might as well just go for that. Okay, reset. On the Mankey, doesn't land it. Second chance. On the Mankey, does land it. But we have this. Ooh, that's some good stunners there, right, sir? We didn't land on you, though. Actually, landing on the segment, the glancing was the most important. That was actually the most important glancing that I could have landed. Because now we have heal block. I don't like heal block. Like, I like a lot of things, but heal block ain't one. Um, I think we're gonna tumble more damage into you. Ooh, that's a very good stunner, actually. Do we wanna get more damage into you so you get the turn? No. No, not yet. Not yet. You do have glancing, does land its skill. That's not great. That's not great. Uh, I think I'm just gonna trigger it. It's Yeah, 
Yeah, getting rid of the Abelio right now is uh, pretty difficult, I would say. If the monkey takes... Ah, uh, that's too bad. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, if I take a stun right now and uh, my third enables cycling, I kind of have a good shot, but without it... He's landing everything through Provoke! Or uh, through Glancing. He's legitimately landing everything through Glancing. He didn't land a single thing, not. That's insane, mate. That is absolutely insane. He already has the third skill. If I pull you to below range of you, it would be nice. Okay, counter, counter, and that on the wrong one. That's perfect for me. Issue still is I have to deal with uh, Abelio at some point. Can we stun it? No, we can't try that. Uh, I hate these S1 stuns, though. These S1 stuns are super nasty. No counterinos. Can we stun it? No stun it, full glance. Can we push back? Uh, no push back. Uh, let's see, can we get two stuns? Two stuns, not bad, but you have your skills. Uh, decides to go for that one. Okay. Doesn't really matter too much, like I start lapping at some point anyways. Issue is that we are getting into range while you have your passive up again, okay? Uh, definitely an interesting one. If I hit this right now, passive would be procced, which I don't really like. Okay, okay, interesting. Uh, I think I kind of have to go for this, don't I? Wait, he has seal! He has seal on that unit! That's literally the first seal ever that I've seen on, my, uh, on me being hit. Like, legitimately the very first seal ever. Okay, goes for that. I think that's an int. That is definitely an int because you're below rate. You're below rate right now. Ah, uh, the double miss critter. There's no way I just double miss crit that on a very crucial moment. There's absolutely no way. I would say that Juno might be able to take this home. Because at some point you're just gonna stun. You're gonna stun slow everything. Juno should be able to take this home. Um, you're gonna take next turn. Should I just S2? No. I'm just gonna do S1 damage to you. Even though you killed, it's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Die as well. I don't care. Yeah, Juno should do enough to where I can deal with it. Slow is a little bit annoying. As long as he doesn't land pushbacks. Okay, doesn't land pushback. Okay, perfect. Even though I count it, doesn't really matter. Yeah, there's absolutely no way you win this. Juno prevails! Once again, Juno prevails.